Well, hello, Cancers. Welcome to your second half of October of 2023 spiritual advice reading. For this reading, I've been guided to the Osha Zen tarot deck. All right. So mid-October, we have a Cancer who is looking at one or two different exciting directions. One offer opportunity or another. One passionate connection or the other. So there's a lot of courageous energy being offered up to Cancers, the Collective Cancers, mid-October. There is like this message from Spirit to say, look at the possibilities before you. Trust that you will have the courage to do this. So in the thoughts position with the consciousness card of the Ace of Swords, there is a gift from the universe of acknowledging a truth. Is this path or is the other path uh, or connection a successful direction? And who eventually or what do I need to cut away from with that double-edged sword? <clears throat> Pardon me. So in the relationship sector, we got some stress here. Uh, during the second half of October, we may have some cancers who are indecisive about what action steps to take when it comes to another or others. When it comes to one direction, person, circumstance, situation, or the other. Well, we've been seeing a lot of this Empress energy and cancers. It is in your creative aspects position of this circle spread. So Spirit is helping you with this major arcana to give birth to what it is that you desire to create for yourself, right? To not give birth to stress, but to uh, finding the answers you need. Oh, and Spirit's giving a lot of hope with another major arcana in the form of the moon. So this is Spirit saying to the collective Cancers in the second half of October that we are opening you up to different possibilities by which you get to decide what or who you want to give birth to. If there is a stressful situation, trust that Spirit is going to bring you a path of victory, but it's up to you to decipher the truth. So have hope that in this moment of indecision, uh, that eventually you will be able to create the path of the possibility that is successful. So emotionally, we've now got another major arcana. So we have one, two, three major arcanas in a row. So the fool is all about manifestation. Emotionally, in the emotional aspects position, am I going to be a fool? and go into the direction of a person or group of people that are stressful? Or am I going to acknowledge the truth of these possibilities and manifest with spirit a path that is hopeful? Yeah, see, subconsciously we've got the Five of Swords. So there's also inner conflict regarding communication involving another or others. Again, there could be one or two that you're trying to decide between uh, which are you most passionate about? Who is leaving you conflicted about communication or what action steps to take? Trust that you will have the strength and spirit's assistance with the major arcana, the Empress, to create a hopeful new path. And spirit will help you to manifest one that is successful at this time. So day to day, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. Some here are researching a path of money and abundance and spirit saying for those cancers, yes, indeed, there's a victorious path ahead of you that is going to fulfill you emotionally in that arena. So have hope and, and remain open to the possibilities uh, before you because spirit's going to bring an awareness here, something to your consciousness of this process of elimination. I'm going to cut away from conflicted actions or communication, and I'm going to move forward researching what it is that I should give birth to, trusting that in this hopeful time, Spirit's going to help for me to acknowledge the truth of these possibilities. Oh my, 
So we have a lion in sheep's clothing with the devil energy in the inner strengths position. So there is indeed someone here that is not the right choice. Okay, so day to day focus on, you know, what you're getting up and doing and giving birth to in the area of money, finance and career and trust and have hope that eventually if there is someone who is causing mental conflict in the area of communication or their actions, that is the one that you are to sidestep. Spirit's giving you the courage to overstep an unhealthy person, place, circumstance, situation, direction, because right behind that is the manifestation of a path of victory. <clears throat> so the first choice may not be the right one. The second one is. Now, in a three-card summary with the same Osha Zen deck, we have got slow down, the morality card, and then the letting go card. So slowly but surely, Spirit is saying we are guiding the collective cancers into the direction of great financial stability, okay? Uh, the awareness that day-to-day, -day, slowly but surely, you are indeed giving birth to an opportunity of abundance and money. Uh, trust that when it comes to kind words and messages, playful communication, you have the magician energy to manifest that path okay should i give birth to and manifest uh, this small communication that may not grow and develop or should i await the awareness of a path of success because spirit's saying with the new vision right two major arcanas here we got the hanging man and the awareness card of the chariot so spirit's saying wait for it Look at things from every perspective during the second half of October, for eventually you will come out of this worry and fear behind you and acknowledge, come into an awareness of a path that is successful. So we do have a flowering abundance taking place in the area of money for cancers in the second half of October. And then when it comes to passion, spirits offering up the very popular high priestess, right? When it comes to maybe the truth of a Gemini connection, spirit is giving you, male or female, the ability to plant seeds and observe a situation without taking action until you know that you know which direction uh, you are meant to go at this time. Yeah, so we had the Queen of Swords. This is you and your element. No, this is not. But I'm feeling this is you knowing that you know what it is that you want at this time, Cancer, uh, as you connect with others. If there is this emperor energy, uh, this could be someone who's focused very much on money or things of the material, uh, but their heart isn't really open to the area of emotions and love. So you're going to feel the strength of the Queen of Swords to be able to acknowledge, uh, is this person making me feel stressed out, right? Because Spirit's saying, wait for it. Uh, you may feel uh, like they've locked you out. They're not letting you in is what I'm getting with that five of pentacles energy. Uh, but there is a process of healing taking place. Uh, this is taking place within you or another where they uh, uh, there has been a long experience or journey in the area of love. And now you've reached the ultimate balance. It's like I can sit outside a situation, observe uh, as I decide in an emotionally balanced way. So yeah, there could be three by the end of October. And a, a blessing is one of them, right? A path of love is what you could find yourself celebrating after taking action to remain hopeful during the whole second half of October. So there's a gift in the form of a new path in love. Oh my, a wish come true with the star card. Big things taking place here in the second half of October with all of these major arcanas. So Spirit is offering up the beautiful Queen of Cups energy, another popular card, and the star um, to help for you to watch for the signs and acknowledge a wish come true. Yeah, if your mind becomes in conflicted in some way, uh, Spirit is saying, free yourself from that energy of self-entrapment, right? Uh, you are not stuck or trapped in one situation, circumstance, or with a particular person. In fact, Spirit's saying, it's time for a rebirth. 
This is a time to recognize that the difficulties of the past brought you to this point of inner strength. And now you can go from the 10 of wands, a path that was difficult in the past, into the direction of a successful direction because you have that consciousness, that awareness of who or what by the end of October you want to let go of, release. Yeah, someone may feel very burdened because of a pas passionate masculine here, King of Wands energies. They may have uh, Sag Aries or Leo in their chart. We did see the Emperor of Aries. We've got the Devil energy of the Lion in Sheep's Clothing, Leo type energy. But the message is, is if you are feeling conflicted, like we talked about in the relationship sector with the stress card, then it's time to leave those worries and concerns behind. Yes, here comes success. Connections with others where you can manifest a path of abundance. So if you're researching money and are trying to give birth to uh, a hopeful new uh, project, idea, or direction, that is what Spirit's saying this success represents. Uh, for others, you know, don't play the fool. If you are dealing with a lion in sheep's clothing, uh, trust that uh, you'll be able to communicate your truth because you're going to feel stable and secure in the realm of finance, career, and success. So yeah, there could be someone coming in quickly and unexpectedly who leaves just as quickly with the Knight of Wands, who leaves you in this energy of the Nine of Swords, right? Sorrowful unable to sleep at night and that's why spirit's saying move forward with hope in your heart for we are helping you to manifest an emotionally fulfilling journey uh, that is successful for the long term a path that is blessed so we do have uh, aloneness right i'm going to sit and observe a situation shine my light on different uh, projects and ideas people places and circumstances because by the end of october cancer you have the very popular world card it's like you put the final piece in the puzzle because you remained hopeful you observed those you need to let go of and through the day-to-day -day experience you weren't a fool you waited and you brought something to a successful completion and now you can move into the direction of playfulness. Okay, there is an exciting awareness coming before you that your hard work and efforts in every realm has indeed paid off. Yeah. Keep on keeping on if you've been working really hard in the area of money and abundance because Spirit's saying eventually a wish is going to come true with the Nine of Pentacles. You're going from the ordinary day-to-day -day researching money and goals and projects and ideas, going from the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles where there, there's this awareness of victory. Beautiful. So I'm going to close with a message from the Archangel Michael, Sword of Light, Oracle Deck. Closing message for Cancers, please, during the second half of October of 2023. What did I say? Someone new is coming. So there could be an unhealthy situation that falls away as you acknowledge the truth between these possibilities in a hopeful way, who or what you want to give birth to. Then someone or something else may show up could be a second or third person if you're single and this is a dating thing. Um, but if, whether it's career or personal, uh, there is an important relationship that is on the horizon here. Open your mind and your heart at this time so that happiness can come in. Because there's going to be this awareness uh, that there is a blessing in disguise. You took your power back. And now the angels are telling you that we've got the, your path under control. Uh, what you dream about, it, what you are hoping for, is going to turn out better than expected. <clears throat> so yes, indeed, you are correct. Uh, at some point, uh, you're going to be moving forward towards a beautiful and magical moment. You, just like the collective cancers in the second half of October, are in the perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. So allow your wishes to be fulfilled. 
You are creating opportunity of a path uh, that is magical. And you will know that you know that you are correct by the end of October of 2023. So should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey or maybe you would just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am now offering the fall special which is a 15-minute one-month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares, and those subscribes, but most importantly to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. Take care and God bless.